hello guys you're welcome to today's tutorial in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how to make a corporate shirt collar a corporate shirt collar contains a collar stand and a collar spread this is exactly the method which i used in making these ones you are seeing right on your screen if you are a returning subscriber thank you and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please click the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss my videos every week without taking your time let's get started all right after cutting your color pattern on your color stay you lay it on the fabric and ensure that you are laying it on the lengthwise of the fabric which is the grain line the interfacing i am using right here is a thick color gum interfacing mark 0.5 inch which is half inch at the bottom of the collar stand and 0.25 inch which is one quarter inch at the top of the collar spread also mark 0.25 inch at the edges of the collar stand mark 0.25 inch also at the top of the collar spread and also at the edges of the collar spread the bottom of the collar spread will be cut exactly where the interfacing ends okay so you cut the bottom of the collar stand where you mark 0.5 inch and you also cut the top where you marked 0.25 inch and you also cut on the edges those are your allowances on which you are going to sew the collar stand and spread also do the same thing on the collar spread cut the top and both edges but on the bottom of the collar spread you cut exactly where the interfacing ends so you take the other part of the pieces still on the lengthwise to cut the facing of the collar spread so ensure it is on the lengthwise green cut exactly on the edges and also note in case you don't have sufficient fabric to cut the color spread facing on the green line you can cut it on the crosswise green okay so after cutting that you just keep it outside and then pick the color stand cut exactly on the edges where you cut before okay if you want to know exactly how i cut this color stand and spread you let me know in the comment section so i can prepare a video for it i just want to know you need it before i make a video on how to cut it so after then you fold it this way ensure the interfacing are aligning you clip the top and the bottom just as you can see me do so you open it now take the collar stand where the collar interfacing is applied and fold the part where you have 0.5 inch okay just fold it that way now we'll go to the sewing machine this is a collar spread so on the edges of the collar spread where you have allowances and please one method of sewing this thing perfectly is to sew away from the edge of the interfacing that means you don't sew on the interfacing so that when you turn it to the right side it's going to lie very flat i'm going to show you this at the end of this part so ensure you align the edges of the fabric very well okay So right now you clip diagonally this is what it means to clip diagonally clipping the edge so that the fabric is not too bulky at that area you can see there's a small distance between the edge of the interfacing and the seam line this is done to enable the color lie very well so when you turn it to the right side the wrong side which is the color facing will not be showing on the right side so turn it to the right side right now okay and then use your screwdriver to bring out the color spread point that is that pointy edge use your screwdriver be careful don't apply too much pressure so it doesn't 
next year. So just repeat the same thing on this edge so you can see how it is just try to use your hands to pull the facing backward the way i'm doing it so you can continue sewing even without ironing at this stage okay so now we're going to top stitch the collar but we're going to put a collar stay this is called a collar stay but most people call it the collar bone but the generally accepted name for this is the collar stay so you put it at the collar point diagonally okay ensure that it is at the tip of the collar spread okay you can see how it is ensure it is placed diagonally okay so right now you top stitch it this way with a seam allowance of 0.5 inch which is one quarter inch okay please do where to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more videos all right you place the next color bone at the other tip of the color spread okay ensure it is at the tip of the color spread okay and also ensure you are sewing on it at that same spot this is a perfect way of top stitching your color spread okay now trim out the excess on the color spread facing so because we didn't sew exactly on the edge of the color spread interfacing there's a little difference so the excess when you turn it will be there so trim it out this way so you can see how neat the top stitch is ensure your lines are very straight and accurate now fold it this way align the edges and then clip the center of the color spread okay now we are going to top stitch the bottom of the color stand with 0.375 inch difference which is 38 inch seam allowance from the bottom of the color stand you can use your presser foot as a guide while sewing okay so right now we're going to sew the collar spread and the collar stand together so place the collar stand facing on your machine and ensure that the collar spread the part that doesn't have the gum is facing the collar stand that doesn't have the gum so the collar stand that has a gum is also facing the collar spread that has a gum align both at the center where we notched previously and also align it to the left hand side okay you can also use the office pin to secure it so that you don't struggle with alignment while sewing some people sew from the center to the right hand side but i prefer aligning it from the center to the left hand side so i just sew once okay so now we are going to sew on the edges so please don't sew on the interfacing the same method we used while we were sewing the collar spread that's what we apply here just give a little space between the edge of the color stand interfacing and your seam line while sewing ensure you align the edges of the three pieces together okay align the edges okay and when you are approaching where your pin is because of the way we pinned it you have to remove your pin so it doesn't break your machine needle so ensure you are aligning the edges properly no one should be longer than the other they all have to be on the same line okay so just do it sew it gradually you don't have to be in a hurry and then it is not done properly remember to backstitch at every seam you make okay 
you can see how it is sewn very neatly so we we'll also clip the diagonal the way we clipped the color spread and then turn it inside out turn the right side outside and the wrong side inside use your screwdriver to bring out a point on the collar stand remember to click the subscribe button and the bell icon okay also repeat the same thing on the other point of the collar stand ensure it pops out very well okay ensure it pops out very well okay but be careful so that you don't tear it okay you can see how it is All right now before sewing the collar to the shirt ensure you align it from the center front to the center back of the neck this is how the collar looks like after ironing it now place the collar on the neck of the shirt at the center back where we notched pin it right there secure it with pin and then align it to the center front to the placket of the shirt okay align it ensure it aligns okay we measured very well so we are accurate in our color size okay it fits very well so now we're going to sew it remember to reinforce at the beginning and then ensure you are maintaining your seam allowance of 0.5 inch and do not stitch on the collar spread so i have to pull it away okay align the edges of the collar stand and the shirt's neckline okay just do this gradually you don't have to be in a hurry and then do what is not accurate so gradually remove your pin when you get to that point ensure you are aligning the edges together and also before you sew to the end ensure you check the other center front which is the underlap of the placket ensure they align so that in case you need to you know stretch or shrink any part of it you should do that before you get to the end so that they will both end at the same edge okay so do that gradually you can see what i did there don't sew on the collar stand all right so this is how it is okay you can see that so we have to top stitch the collar stand right now okay so you can see what i did there remember to reinforce and then do not allow your seam line to show okay your seam line should not be visible while you are top stitching the collar stand and also top stitch on the edge of the collar stand okay top stitch on the edge okay it's not proper for your seam line to be visible and also check the center front which is the overlap this one right there ensure it will end well at the point without any um, part folding okay if it's not done well the collar can maybe be longer and it will not have a good shape so use your screwdriver to help you all right so reinforce at the end okay just cut off your hanging thread properly okay so now we're going to top stitch the edge of the collar stand this way just at the edge okay this makes your collar very fine okay just top stitch ensure your lines are straight this is very very important ensure your lines are straight so you have to focus on the presser foot okay ensure your lines are very straight so reinforce at the end okay so this is how it looks like after making it so we'll go to the table to iron it a bit 
all right so most times i iron from the back the wrong side which is the facing of the collar okay the shirt collar so after doing that i'll just fold it this way when you fold the collar spread ensure that at least 0 0.25 inch of it is showing on the right side okay this way ensure just close to 0 0.25 which is close to a quarter inch and also turn it to the other side and ensure the facing of the collar stand is not also showing okay it shouldn't be visible the collar spread should cover the collar stand okay you can see that the collar spread is covering the collar stand thank you for watching this video to the end remember to subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon also you can see this video on how to cut and sew a senator placket and how to take an accurate shirt measurements